Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Unity Village Chapel's uh, Wednesday Night Meditation Live. This is Reverend Brandon Nagel, <clears throat> and I'm here with you this evening just to share some thoughts with you and then um, for us to spend just a little bit of time in the stillness and in the uh, quiet of meditation. And so we'll, we'll give everybody just a few moments to to find us and to get centered in and settled in uh, for a, a time in the stillness and a time in the in the quiet. Um, and tonight, uh, as we as we begin, I wanted to start by sharing some words with you from uh, Joel Goldsmith's "The Art of Meditation." If you're not familiar with uh, Joel Goldsmith, he's a spiritual teacher, um, and he. He founded a spiritual practice that's known as the Infinite Way, and Joel's work has been um, very instrumental for me personally in my spiritual journey. Um, I've spent a lot of time both with his his work, his meditations, um, and the taped lessons that came from a lot of the um, students of Joel Goldsmith. Uh, so. Um, this is something that's been very impactful for me, and we're going to allow it to to guide us and lead us into our uh, into our meditation time tonight. Um, and I thought I'd just start by reading <clears throat> reading just a a section out of this, and and what we'll actually do is let this this section of Joel's work um, be the starting place for our meditative experience this evening. And so if you would, take this opportunity just to settle in. It's nice to see you, Joan. Um, but we'll go ahead and just settle in right here and right now, becoming comfortable where we are. We breathe into this moment. And we exhale that energy. If it's comfortable for you to close your eyes, I would invite you to do that. Just go ahead and close your eyes. You know, one of my mentors once said that we all know to become comfortable when we meditate. Um, he said he's never heard anybody start a meditation by saying become uncomfortable as you are. And so just do whatever feels natural for you to begin this meditative experience. Breathing in, breathing out. <clears throat> we allow our mind to shift and to turn its thoughts away from outer thoughts, thoughts of worry, concerns, fear, thoughts of self-doubt. We allow our mind to gently release those thoughts as we turn now within. calling forth the power, the presence of spirit as us in this moment. We center and ground ourselves in that divine presence. And as we come from that centered place, we hear the words of the spiritual master, the spiritual teacher, Joel Goldsmith, and his writings on meditation. Meditation is an experience, and inasmuch as this experience is an individual one, it can never be confined within the limits of any predetermined pattern. Meditate, pray, Dwell in the secret place of the Most High in quietness and in peace, and you will discover that the truth you are seeking already abides within you. Christ, the great light, is within you. Christ is the healer. Christ is the multiplier of loaves and fishes. Christ is that which supports, maintains, and sustains but it is already within you. You will never find health, supply, or companionship by searching for them. These are embodied within you, and they will unfold from your withinness 
as you learn to commune with the Father. You can draw on your own Christhood for anything, and it will flow out from you to the extent of your realization of this truth. You are self-complete in God. Christ is your true identity, and in Christ you are fulfilled in all your completeness. In this self-completeness in God, there is only one thing for which to pray. There is only one thing needed, spiritual illumination. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. Ask for spiritual illumination, for the gift of spirit and God will reveal itself as fulfillment. And we'll hear a little bit more for, from Joel later, but let's just go ahead and take this opportunity together to move into this time of spiritual illumination, to move into this time of spiritual understanding, to move into this time of knocking and seeking and asking. <clears throat> knowing that there is not any particular request that we need to seek. Instead, right here and right now, we seek simply the understanding that we are one with Spirit. One with God, one with the universe, whatever name we choose to give that presence, that allness, the great I am. In this moment, we move into the stillness as we simply work to acknowledge that oneness within ourselves, to call it forth, and to be illuminated by its presence as we move into the silence.
remaining in this place of connection. <clears throat> we continue to focus our thoughts on thoughts of spirit, on thoughts of our oneness with spirit. If during this time we find ourselves distracted by an outer thought, something that is other than that, that thought of our oneness with the divine. We simply return to our breath. We breathe in, we breathe out, and we reaffirm our intention to ask, seek, to knock, to search for that spiritual illumination And although we remain in this connected place, we choose right here and right now to shift our focus ever so slightly from the internal, from seeking that expression of the divine within ourselves, to an opportunity now to radiate that divine light and that divine love into our world. Our master teacher taught that where two or more were gathered, there that presence was in the midst of them. And so we take that opportunity right now to just radiate that presence out into our community. Beginning right here and right now with the local city that you happen to be watching from. We take this opportunity to radiate the light of spirit, the light of God, into our city. Moving now into the state where we live. We send thoughts of light, of love, of peace radiating out into our state, calling forth the highest and best expression of the divine as we radiate our love into our state now. Moving now to our entire country. If you're watching from the United States, we bring our country into mind. Whatever country you may be watching from, we just, in this point, consciously focus on that nation. Knowing that we are radiating beings of light and love, we radiate that light and love into our nation now.
from our nation into our in thoughts of our world. That beautiful globe that we call the Earth. Filled with so many different countries, so many expressions of life. So many different cultures, but yet one human race. We affirm our oneness with humanity as we radiate light and love and surround our planet with that peaceful presence right here and right now. now we begin to bring our energy back inward, changing our perspective from the entire globe back to our nation, continuing to radiate that light and that love. As we return our thoughts to our country. Radiating that light and love, we shift our thoughts back to our local state. Drawing back down to our city. Back to our community. And right back here. To our heart center to that light and love of the divine within us. I'm resting in those, that space. We hear more from our master teacher, Joel Goldsmith, who continued on saying, meditation is a continuous song of gratitude that God is love, that God is here, and that God is now. It is resting in God's bosom, holding God's hand, and feeling the divine presence. We continue to rest in contemplation of God's love and God's presence. And then we will be able to say, my meditation of him shall be sweet and I will be glad in the spirit. And so we do continue to just rest in that contemplation of that presence, of that spirit. Allowing our hearts to fill with a great gratitude for its continued guidance in our lives. If we have a particular prayer request, something that is on our mind, we just allow that to come to our lips right here and right now. Knowing that as we speak it into this powerful field of energy, that it is so. That we affirm its truth as this or something better. And we release it into the universe. And so I would just invite you to speak those requests to yourself right here and right now. And 
so it is with great gratitude in our hearts, knowing that this or something better is on our way, that we say, thank you, sweet spirit. Allowing our energy and our attention to begin to return to this time and this place. We feel our awareness of the outer world creeping its way back in. Breathing in. Breathing out. As we prepare to re-enter our lives. Knowing that as we do, our connection to spirit is no farther away than right here. That all we need to do is take that moment to breathe and to acknowledge its presence. To ask, to seek, to knock. For it is there. And so it is. Amen. <clears throat> Well, as we just kind of continue to breathe right here and right now, I just want to thank all of you for joining me, those of you who joined me live and who will join me uh, later on as these, these videos continue to, to live on our Facebook page. Um, we, of course, will be uh, back to interact with you uh, throughout the week. I'll be back on sharing the Daily Word tomorrow morning. Um, we have a community prayer time at noon on Thursdays. Um, so if you have a prayer request, if you'd like to leave it in the comments, if you can't join us for that noon prayer time, it would be uh, our honor to hold that prayer with you at noon tomorrow. And then tomorrow afternoon, we'll have another time of meditation uh, for all of you. So, um, so many ways to connect in, in spirit. But remember, as, as we heard from Mr. Goldsmith earlier uh, today, that 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 experience of meditation is an individual one. And so wherever you are at in your practice, wherever you're at in exploring your meditative practice, just know that I honor you on your path and on your journey. Know that Unity Village Chapel is here to support you. Um, and until we meet again, namaste, good evening, um, and God bless you all. Now before I go, Harper, do you want to say hi to everybody? Uh -huh. hi, hi, yes, hi, you can. Well, come on. Come say hi. There you are. Say hi, Harper. Hi. Well, before you notice, I actually have a wiggly tooth. Yeah, you've got a loose tooth. Mm -hmm. All right. There it is. All right. God bless you all and bless you on your spiritual journeys. Namaste.